not good. It got the yellow light. What are they working on here? Oh, working on the train. I wonder if they got the power. Oh, I hope the power's not out in the freaking grace field. That'll suck. They're kind of a bad swing. I think he should be a little bit further down. Come over that hill there. Consider, like, considering how people drive like maniacs around here. God, I hope the power's not out in the, uh, up in Gracefield. That will suck. Burn that gas for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, somebody started tracking. That looks like a scary. That could have been scary. Here, the ditches or the road <laughs> again I asked in uh, this yesterday's video uh, riddle me this guys when you see cars in the ditch are they on a curve or are they on a straight stretch nine times out of ten they're on a straight stretch like people think they can't go in the ditch on a straight stretch it's weird eh? and you, and you wonder how it happens but you know you hit black ice or whatever you just off the road. See all these tracks on the side of the road here. There's a rough patch here. There's a whole road for them. They actually spent the whole summer kind of half-ass patching this. And that they literally did that half-ass patches. You know, it's like at least our pat. At least the divot. At least the potholes are smoother. I, I don't know. <laughs> Like, is that how it works? It's like we have the smoothest potholes in Quebec. Yeah. I wonder how many people have landed in his yard coming off of here. Or maybe they're more likely to go off that way. It's hard to say. Considering yesterday I was just up here yesterday. That's my track from yesterday. I know because I put it there. are fully loaded i've seen guys with half loads and guys with full loads so i guess those there's some of them that they're still trying to push the full load because at this time of year they're not allowed full loads eh? because of the it breaks up the road it, uh, the uh, frost underneath it cracks it because of the weight of the trucks that's why they can only go half loads Good in here? I can't tell. It's all snowed. It's all snowed up. Yeah. 69.5 kilometers. Yeah. Got a little pony on it, red pony, a black pony on a red. Uh, license plate. Kind of looked a bit evil. That was one of those electric Mustangs, I think. Oh, thank you. The only people that buy that are, like, people that don't, like, have to travel much. <laughs> you know, or company car. Like, I'm not opposed to the electric vehicles. I, I think we're, they're, they're, they're rushing them out too early, just because they, you know, it's because the, the elites want to make money, right? It's not because they're really that great for the environment. I mean, what, the vehicle itself, yeah, has cleaner emissions, but in the process of building, it's not so great. But in comparison to what, right? Like, I mean, you still gotta have a lot of toxic materials in a regular vehicle, just not as much. It's the batteries, right? The battery technology, I don't think is quite there yet. And they don't have the, like when you buy an electric vehicle, you should get a solar charger that is adequate for the vehicle you know included in the price of the vehicle but they can't do it for like under a million bucks you know what i mean so it's just, it's just not feasible for most people to have an electric vehicle you know just charging it up especially the price of hydro right now you know like 
maybe in the, some places in the states it's not bad but even california like all those people with the electric vehicles in california they're like oh look it only cost me 36 bucks a charge to fill up my uh, you know to recharge my vehicle that's like about one third of what uh, half to one third of what my vehicle you know if they had a truck it'd be like a you know a tenth of the price good deal right your hydro bill goes up a bit but who cares right but now it's like oh well now there's all these new taxes and there's all this new stuff and it's now it's like three times more expensive to recharge your vehicle than it was to buy gas for a big truck <laughs> you know what i mean like it's it's nuts hey jesus this road is wobbly could be the car too could be the guy driving it but i'm almost there 